Hey makers this is Dravin and in this episode we are going to talk about one of the component from creator kit in our earlier episode we will discussed about how we can install creator kit for our environment if you haven't gone through that video link is available in the description box or on the i icon in this episode we will be talking about expand menu from creator kit expand menu is nothing but this kind of functionality where you can see this kind of menu and when you click on it it will just expand and when you click on again it is just collapse and over here different icons are there now let's talk about how we can consume this creator toolkit component into our canvas app and how we can configure it so without further delay let's get started but before that if you haven't followed me on my instagram and twitter so far do follow me Here I have opened one of the canvas app and first of all we need to import that component for that you need to click on this plus icon and after that just click on get more component expand power cat component library and from there just click on expand menu click on import if you don't know how did we install all of these components please visit my previous video you can see that expand menu component has been added now let's click on that so that will add that component on my page and this component is looking like this now let's configure the properties by default you can see that we have power apps power bi power automate and dataverse over here now i want to change all of these options so i need to configure couple of property from my component let's select the component and over here on the right hand side we can see the different properties the first property is the item property when you click on that it will show you this kind of code where you need to provide the name of the icon label which means the label that is presenting over here then on click which screen you want to redirect this particular option and tool tip means whenever you hover over it what it will show that is called as tool tip now let's configure overall this option by our own first of all icon property icon property is nothing but fluent ui icon name you need to provide here now what is fluent ui icon let me show you so over here you can see that i have opened one of the link the link is available in the description box these all are office ui fabric icon you can pick any one from it let's say for an example if i need this icon you just need to hover over it and you can see the name charticulator guide coordinator right simply you need to provide that and that will load that thing over here let's say you want this one so you can just type chatbot and it will just load its icon now let's go to our app and now let's add couple of option let's say for an example instead of that i just wanted to change my code so what i'm doing here is i'm just changing the values over here so let's say first of all i need home over here so i'm just changing over here as home then i'm just changing its text home then this is the screen on which screen you want to redirect let's say i want to redirect myself on screen 1 so i can simply write here screen 1 then over here on tool tip what we want let's say i need home over here i changed it now let's play the app you can see that you can clearly see that over here it changed this icon over here right now what i want here is i want to change other icons as well so i am just changing this table code so let me select that again go here and let's paste my code so i added another icons add button location defect solid wins this type of idea symbol right so this is looking nice and these are all my new labels right so this is the configuration property then there is a second property is navigation enabled which is turn on which means that whenever you click on any of the element you are redirected to the another screen if it is turn off that property will not work then there is an option theme where you can define the theme of your component and over here if i expand here this is the whole line of code now how does it work let me explain you so over here when you install the creator kit you have fluent theme designer just open it up 
over here you can see that these are the different primary color so let me change my primary color like this and then let me export the theme so it will provide me this theme you need to simply copy and paste this theme code over here inside your power apps then there is a property default expand value now let's say for an example by default whenever this page is open the component is looking like this but let's say we want auto expand menu then just turn it on and what happen here is whenever it open for the first time it always have the expand value like this then on expand select so let's say for an example if you write, want to write some piece of code on your hamburger menu you can just uh, write a code on top of that so let's say i'm selecting this property now let's say i just want to uh, print hi to check if my code is working or not so i'm just writing a code notify and what happen here is whenever i'm clicking on hamburger option you can see hi right so you can write that event over here then there is an option called on button select so whenever you are selecting any of your buttons home button or add button what you want to perform you can write that code over there so let's say i'm just printing one notify thing so i'm just printing hello and after that i want uh, whatever uh, item is selected from this menu i just want to print that so i just write a, a id of this component which is expand menu one dot selected item dot label so now let's taste it so uh, first of all uh, i clicked on hamburger so it just print this now let me click on home it printed home then new contact us and new idea right so this is how all the property configurations look like so that's it for the first component expand menu now in our next video we will talk about some another component which component do you prefer to make a video on next just add your comment in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Looking for any training or any consultation, the website link is available over here. You can follow me on other social media handle. All the links are available on the channel cover homepage. With this, this is Thruvind signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.